Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you razor editing within envelopes in Reaper. Now in a previous video, we went over razor editing, including using it for envelopes. But to review, we could go over here to a volume envelope, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and then right click drag. And that's going to create a razor edit, which you can move like this, or delete, or cut, and then paste somewhere else, or duplicate like this. But now, in the newer version of Reaper, we can edit within an envelope. Let's clear this. Let's go to our preferences. Go to options and choose preferences. Let's scroll down to mouse modifiers and find the context that's been added called Razor Edit Envelope Area. There's a new context for this feature. And we can see there's only three options right now, but they're still very useful as you'll see. The first one by default is going to move or tilt the envelope vertically. So let's create a razor edit on this volume envelope like this and put our cursor in the middle. See what changes? Letting us know we could edit within the envelope. So now we could bring it up or down and just edit within this area. Now you're probably thinking it's not that big of a deal, but it actually is because then we could do things that we couldn't do before. And most of them involve multiple razor edits. So let's clear this and create a few on this envelope. And if we add in shift to the modifiers, alt shift on the PC, option shift on the Mac, right click drag, that's gonna create multiple razor edits we can use. Let's create one more. And now if we go right here, cursor changes, and we can edit within the envelope on all these razor edits at the same time, like this. So if we had a situation where we wanna lower or raise the volume for each verse in our song, we can just select those verses and lower or raise them all at the same time. And it doesn't just work on one track. Let's bring this down to all three tracks on each of these. And now put our cursor in the middle. We could bring down or up all the razor edits at the same time, like this. So it's very useful for grouping tracks. Let's say we're dealing with some lead and background vocals or a bunch of background vocals, or a bunch of guitars, just select them all and adjust the envelopes all at the same time, either up or down. This is going to work with any envelopes we use. We're using volume right now. Let's hide these and use pan, and that's going to work as well. Just create razor edits and adjust them all at the same time. But if we go back to the mouse modifiers, we can see it's not just gonna move our envelopes, it's also gonna tilt the envelopes. So let me show you how that works. Let's create a razor edit, put our cursor in the middle, goes up or down. But if we put it on the side, see so the cursor changes, now we could tilt this envelope which brings it up on this side, but leaves it on this side. Bring it down or up and do the same thing on this side. Bring it down or up and it tilts the envelope from side to side. And again, it's gonna work on multiple razor edits as well. Go to the middle to bring it down or up or go to the side to tilt them on either side we choose. Let's go back to the mouse modifiers and also notice these other two options. The first one, if we hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac, 
it's going to expand or compress the envelope range. So let's create a razor edit, hold the control on the PC or command on the Mac. And if we bring it up, it expands the range, making it more dynamic. We'll bring it the other way to flatten the envelope up or down. And again, this will work with multiple razor edits. Control on the PC, command on the Mac to adjust their range, more dynamic or less. But this is even more useful on pan envelopes. Let's switch this to pan. Let's select from here to here. Hold the control on the PC, command on the Mac, and it's going to flatten the panning. So instead of hard panning, it moves it in a bit or less or more of extreme panning. Let's go back to the mouse modifiers. And there's one other option right here. Hold that control shift on the PC, command shift on the Mac, and it's going to expand or compress the envelope range toward the top or bottom. So now we just hold on control. It expands or compresses that range. But if we add in shift on PC, it's control shift on Mac, it's command shift and grab the bottom. It brings it up from the bottom, still expanding or compressing the range, but it starts from the bottom up. Or we can grab it from the top, from the top down. So it still compresses or expands our envelopes, but it starts at the top or bottom, depending on where we grab it or without shift from the middle. So that's pretty much it. That's razor editing within envelopes in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.